Hello everyone. Today we learn about what happens to an acid or a base in a water solution. We'll do a small experiment to understand. That is activity 2.9. Take a clean and dry test tube. Put one gram of solid sodium chloride, means common salt. Now add some concentrate sulfuric acid to the test tube. Close the mouth of test tube by a single hole cork along with delivery tube. Observe the reaction. Is there any gas coming out of the delivery tube? If yes, test the gas evolved with dry blue litmus paper and then with wet blue litmus paper. In which case does the litmus paper change its color? With the help of above activity, we infer about one more acidic character. That is, what happened with dry HCl gas and in HCl solution. In first case, a dry HCl gas doesn't change the color. But in second case, with wet blue litmus paper changed into red. This experiment suggests that hydrogen ion in HCl are produced in the presence of water. Means HCl reacts with water gives hydronium ion plus chlorine. The separation of H plus ion from HCl molecules cannot occur in the absence of water. Means with a dry litmus paper. It confirms that hydrogen ion cannot exist alone, but they exist after combining with water molecules. Thus, hydrogen ions must always be shown as H plus or hydronium ion, that is HO plus. It forms by adding H plus ions with water gives hydronium. But let us see what happens when a base is taken in this experiment. Then try with some examples. Here also when sodium hydroxide reacts with water gives sodium metal plus hydroxide OH ion. Same with potassium hydroxide also reacts with water. Same magnesium hydroxide also reacts with water gives magnesium and hydroxide ions from these three base reacts with water and generates hydroxide means OH ions and also the base which are soluble in water are called alkalides. Now we have studied that all acids generate H plus ion and the base generate OH minus hydroxide. Then if we check the neutralization reaction can it prove? So let's check. Neutralization reaction is when acid reacts with base, it forms salt and water. So let's check with an example. Consider if as acid HX reacts with base as MOH. Both forms the product like MX plus HOH. In this reaction, consider Mx is a salt, then H ion from acid and OH ion from base forms HOH that is water. We'll take one sample to understand this. Hx as acid HCl, Cl in place of X and the base NaOH. Na in place of M. Then both forms salt, it means NaCl. Then the H ion from acid, OH from base reacts H2O. It confirms H plus OH forms water. We learned that from both ions H plus of acid and OH minus from base 
arms water then what happens when water is mixed with an acid or a base we must take care of mixing or dissolving concentrated acids like sulfuric acid nitric acid or a base sodium hydroxide or highly exothermic the heat generated may cause the mixture to splash out and cause damage or burns the container or apparatus also breaks due to excessive local heat so on some acid and base bottles given warning sign like this then you might have started to think what is the process of dissolving an acid or a base the acid must always be added slowly to water with constant stirring so mixing on acid or a base with water results in decrease in the concentration of ions per unit volume such a process is called dilution such solutions are also called diluted solutions in my next video we'll study how strong acid are best solutions